I'm a millennial, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in the 90s, yeah. you know what I'm saying? 90s music. Even back then, it was like flashy, this, that, and the third, right? Yeah, that was the first one to see it. Exactly. <laughs> so that's what people want to see, exactly. And, um, you know, you see these things, you become enticed by these things, and. But it, do, it doesn't really show you, like, what goes into. You know, making that kind of money. And it's kind of funny. The reason why I mention that is because it's so funny how, still till this day, that seems to be a formula that works for the average consumer. You just mm -hmm. see the flashiness and you don't think that there are no crazy work hours that go into that. Because yeah, you know, yeah, as yeah, an yeah. artist, you don't live a regular nine to five life. You understand me? You be in the studio for crazy amount of hours. You have this to do, that to do. You understand me? Everything surrounding your music. And then you put out the product hoping that it's going to reach the, you know, the amount of people that yeah. you, you want it to reach. So my question is, how many hours do you put into this? Like what is your, I guess you could say work schedule? like around this how many hours do you spend in the studio are you somebody that like you say you just get inspired by something and then you just write it down and go to the studio or are you somebody that makes sure you write at least a 16 every day to make sure you still got it lyrically and all of that stuff so mm -hmm. so how does that how does that look like shit like i ain't gonna say like no set schedule with it uh whenever it is whenever i'm working on something I'm mm -hmm. in the studio, you feel me? I'm spending a lot of time in the studio. Mm -hmm. But obviously, like, it's times when I ain't, you feel me? I'm not in the studio as much as I'm goddamn working on other shit. But I, if you want to say, like, an average when I'm working on shit, mm -hmm. uh, you feel me? Goddamn. What? On, on my on my project, All Love, I probably spent at least, like, 10 hours in the studio. Mm -hmm. Just working on that project. A lot of it I did all at one time. That's some shit I like to do, too. Mm -hmm. You know, making music is really the goddamn... Whatever tape I'm putting together, if I'm putting together a project or I'm putting together a series of songs I'm finna drop together, mm -hmm. I want to go and record them bitches in one, you feel me, studio session. Gotcha. That way, you feel me, the vibe the same, you feel me, the shit feel the same, mm -hmm. goddamn. And once you, like I said, once I get in that mode, I'm just, you feel me, I'm just keep going, just keep going with it. So, yeah. Like, so it took 10 hours to make all love? Hell yeah, hell yeah. All the time put together with, you feel me, recording the shit. Mm. Editing, you feel me? Getting shit made, shit like mm. that. Yeah, I just want gotcha. to Wow, yeah, yeah. wow, that's what's up, man. So y'all heard it, man. Don't be sitting on your ass thinking that somebody gonna call you and offer you some kind of fifty racks, hundred racks, <laughs> you know and then sign your ass because it's, it's um, saturated. It is a saturated industry mm -hmm. when you're talking about music. And um, that means you have to work even harder to stand out, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I thought, you know. So, um, yeah. we mentioned Glacier Boys and I was talking about, you know, your... We kind of briefly touched on your chemistry with uh, Uno. Um, I've also... You know, you had a, a Cypher song, mm. you know? I don't know the name of the song, but I just remember your your verse. You 5, posted. It's called Fifty Five Hundred. Fifty Five Hundred. There you go. Remix. There you go. Yeah. So the one where you said she she don't fuck the whole team, but she said she loved me. <laughs> that that is one of my favorite lines, yo. <laughs> but um, so how do you know who to work with? How do you know you know like okay. This is somebody I would want to do a collab with, you know, people that you have collabed with or with mm. on previous projects. How do you go about that? Like, do you spend a day with them? Do y'all just hang out? Are those people you knew before? Or do you kind of like see, okay, I know this person knows how to rap. I know what song I can put them on. Like, tell mm. us a little bit about that. Shit, man. It's just all energy for me, you feel me? Energy and vibe, like, you feel me? We and if we say we want to work together, or you feel me, like, the thing with, um, with me and Uno, you feel me, he'll probably send me some shit, I'll probably send him some shit, if I'm fucking with it, he fucking with it, so let go try it, and, and it just, like, once we get in there, we get in that vibe, and we go to goddamn, you know, he got down him with some shit on him with some shit, it's like, you catching the vibe, the same thing with, uh, 
I got a song with uh Bree Field that I, I hadn't dropped yet, but it just was like I was fucking with her vibe, so I sent her some, and mm. she sent me some back, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I, I can you feel me vibe with it. Is that a singer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She sang. She oh, sang. nice. Yeah. From from Georgia as well. Matter of fact, I don't even know exactly where she from. Okay. I don't think she from Georgia though. I don't, I don't even know where she from. Okay. But hell yeah though, like you feel me? Then getting the yo with her like the vibe, just you feel me? I just feel like. With the energy of that shit right, that shit just gonna, you feel me? And it just gonna go from there, like, mm -hmm. you know, it ain't no too much of a thought process. Like, I ain't thinking about it, you feel me? It's just like, when, if, if I'm around you and we can vibe together in the yo, like I said, music is about feeling. So we can mm -hmm. vibe together, you feel me? We can do some music together, so. Cause if I can't vibe, which I can't do no music. You can't do music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that, that is it, pretty that straightforward. That's how it is in my, my studio session, you feel me? Like, if I can't vibe with somebody in the yo, like, Mm -hmm. You can't be in my session. Like you can't even you can't even be in my session. Mm. I can't buy it with you. Gotcha. Have you ever had to have you ever had to kick somebody out of your studio session? Or no. no. Or like you decided to work with them and then you were like, nah, I don't think I don't think this gonna work out. Oh no, no, I ain't never just kick nobody out of the studio session. I don't never just bring nobody around that you feel me, I feel like I'm fuck my vibe up, but Nah, I ain't never kid nobody out of the studio session. Y'all, uh, I done definitely turned down working with some people though. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I done definitely. Why is that? Nah, just, I just feel like, like I said, some people just be on different vibes, and I just, you feel me? I just couldn't, I just couldn't do nothing with it. You feel me? They sent me something, and I just were like, nah, I can't. <laughs> they were yeah. whack, weren't they? I ain't, I ain't, you feel me? I ain't saying it was just whack or nothing, but it just, I can't, I can't really do nothing with it. it, went, it went Some of you niggas can't rap, yo. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Some of you niggas think this shit is easy, man. You just put a few words together on the beat and that's it, right? You take it off, man. It'll work like that. Definitely. I be wondering about niggas sometimes, but. <laughs> really? I mean, I be thinking like, you feel me? Cause I'm, I criticize the fuck out of my music. You feel yep. me? I personally criticize the fuck out of my music. Mm -hmm. And some niggas just, you feel me? They, they be so confident in just putting out whatever. And I be like, come on, bro. Like, I feel where you coming from. Put that shit out, but man, you gotta put a little more time into that shit. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't definitely got in and turned down some shit. Yeah, that's that's that's, that's good. Cause I don't know. Do you feel like, um, as a as a younger artist, up and coming artist, um, do you feel like there is how best do I put this? Because you said people are so comfortable just putting out anything. Mm -hmm. Do you see that a lot nowadays, or? How do you think that is? Because, see, for me, for example, I'm an old head, you know. Back, everything from back in the day is better than it is today, you know. I'm usually in with that group, but I, I, I am a little different. I do recognize that, you know, the landscape of music, rap music, hip-hop, and all that has changed. And um, I accept that change. Mm -hmm. But just to not be too critical of the younger ones... Sometimes I get that vibe that, you know, like you said, people just put out anything. Back in the day, you couldn't really do that. It yeah. was a crazy filtering system. Like, you really had to have your shit together, right? So, for you, being an artist in these times, do you think that, you know, that's what's going on? Or more and more people not really putting too much effort in their work? Yeah, yeah, man, I feel like, I, cause I feel like for one, it's easy to put out music now. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's a lot of platforms, it's a lot of shit where you can just drop however the fuck you want. Yep. And motherfuckers just drop on however they want. Like, they ain't really trying to, which, which nowadays, like, you don't gotta be, you feel me, as complex with the music. You mm -hmm. feel me? As long as you got a quick little melody, a quick little goddamn, you feel me, something to catch everybody's attention, like, they gonna fuck with it anyway, but. I, I still feel like motherfucker be just putting out anything. <laughs> I ain't gonna count that. Like I said, cause I criticize my music. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Not, I ain't, you feel me? Not saying I'm the greatest artist in the world, but I criticize my music. And some people just, I don't know, they just be they putting just out do whatever. whatever. They just be putting out whatever. 
Man, you said quick little melody, quick little something to catch somebody's yeah, attention. Yeah, look, quick little catchy shit. Ah, uh, gotcha. So, do you feel like, um, given that we live in the age of social media and everything, and you know, attention spans are heavily affected by it, let's be honest, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, a lot of songs that you hear nowadays, like two minutes and 30 seconds, two minutes, 15 seconds. Back in the day, you know, I come from a time where it's like four minutes and something, three minutes and something for a track. So like you were mentioning that whole, you know, you get a quick little melody and all of that stuff. Um, do you think it is um, benefiting or it is harming music to a certain degree, especially as far as, you know, the consumer is concerned? Because it's like the value of what an album is, for example, is not as valid as it used to be. See, I mean, yeah, I feel like, you know, it kind of devalue music because like a lot of a lot of musicians are creative you feel me so like they put a lot of thought process in what they doing what they putting out as far as the music and the visuals and i feel like that's something you got to have a longer attention span to kind of pay attention to mm -hmm. uh but also with with with, with it now you kind of just got to transition with the wave you feel me like the folk want music you got to drop music on because like you said their attention span is short but as long as you got them you put out some quick quick and keep moving, I feel like it make it a little bit easier at the same time, cause mm -hmm. rather than having to come up with these deep ass thought process, you just feel me like I said, put some shit together, quick little melody and goddamn drop that shit and folk fucking with it, come back with some old little quick shit. Uh -huh. So I guess you can look at it on both sides. Like mm -hmm. if you're the type of artist that wanna make some real creative, thoughtful stuff, if if you if you wanna do that, I feel like that's at some point in your career. Mm -hmm. But like when you first trying to break through, like you just gotta give them folks some quick and get out of the way. Quick, get out of the way, quick, get out of the way, and just keep showing them what they want to see. Oh, but uh, I get it. I mean, yeah, I, I, overall, though, to your question, yeah, I feel like it, it didn't kind of devalue music, devalue mm -hmm. kind of like creative shit behind it. Mm -hmm. But hey, and the internet and social media is here to stay. So for you old niggas out there that don't like this whole shit and that think it's oh, today's music is trash, you know, you better. Get with the times, so at least not you, but tell your sons to get with the times, you know what I'm saying? I mean, they probably are already, you know what I'm saying? So, okay, that's what's up, that's what's up. So, um, since we're already on the topic of social media and all that, is that uh, what you use to, you know, push your music? I know you mentioned TikTok and stuff. I'm, I'm not on TikTok personally, you know. Mm -hmm. But, um, like, how, how do you put your music out there and um, how do you make sure... How do you go about, you know, you know, algorithms and all of that stuff? Make sure you catch the right wave, like the algorithm. Or how do you make sure that if I'm scrolling through my phone, I'm going to see a song you just dropped, a video you just dropped, you know, whether it be content or music. Like, how do you go about that? Do you have, like, a team or, or who, who are you working with or how do you work with that? Oh, uh, no, I ain't got no team or nothing. It's just, you know, it's just me. Independent artist kind of just got down doing my thing, but uh, as far as promoting music, like I say, kind of just got to move with the way. Like, you got to kind of like watch what's going on on social media and kind of just like move with that. Like, uh, for example, like the reels and shit, like, like you said, people's attention span is short, mm -hmm. so the the real quick in and out, you feel mm -hmm. me? You showing what mm -hmm. you want to show, and then you kind of like get out of the way. Mm -hmm. So, that that what I use a lot to promote my music. Uh, the reels but just Instagram in general, like when they come to uh hitting the algorithms and shit, you gotta you gotta be consistent. You gotta be dropping shit, you gotta be consistent in order for the algorithm to kinda like work out for you and shit. So mm -hmm. that that pretty much me. Like I do most of my uh promotions on Instagram. Okay. I be fucking with TikTok a little bit, mm -hmm. but not too much. It kinda hard for me to really get into TikTok and shit, but hell yeah, yeah, mostly Instagram just, you know, consistency and shit. Mm. Consistency? Yeah, yeah. That's always the key, ain't it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got to stay consistent, man. Above all things, you got to stay consistent. Mm. So what's what's the thing with TikTok? Because I, I just hear TikTok, TikTok, TikTok. You even mentioned the reels on Instagram. I think that's even the TikTok-like yeah, formula, gonna, right? Yeah, most going to be TikTok. That, yeah, it, it pretty much TikTok on Instagram, pretty much. Mm. That's that what it is. And a lot of a lot of people make them business on TikTok and then put them on Instagram. So gotcha. it's really the same thing. Uh, I don't know. Like, Jeff, for me personally, Instagram is a workout better. Like, okay. I fuck with TikTok 
and I know it's a lot of potential in TikTok, uh -huh. but Instagram just it just work out better for me. Mm. I kind of get more more engagement and shit from tic, from uh, Instagram. So, but uh, TikTok definitely avenue too for you know people that be on. I know a couple people that be got down, you know, doing good on TikTok or whatever. But mm. it just ain't just been something that I just think seen the numbers I want to see from. But I'm gonna keep fucking with it though, cause like I said, it's the new wave, you feel me? TikTok, but you gotta follow the wave. TikTok is a new wave. It's a new me? wave, it's a new yeah. Wave and you gotta check out, and I kind of pay attention to what they putting out on that and just move with it. Just move with it. That's good, that's good. So, um, yeah, um, you mentioned Stack Boy earlier, you know, and I see that on your shirt, so. Oh yeah. Yeah, what's that about, you know? Tell, tell us about the drip, and can we get them the chains from 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 your from, from your is, is that part of like the whole merch? Do the chain come with it? Nah, the chain don't come with it, man. The chain <laughs> don't come with it. But uh, then my clothing brand though, Stack Boy. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Stack now ball later. Shit, I've been preaching on though. You can see it. But Stack now ball later. Yeah, I shit, like I, that. shit, I be got now. I said the message I'm trying to put out, and it's kind of like me expressing that through a clothing brand. Stack Boy. That's something I've been calling myself for I don't know how long. You feel me? Stack Boy, like. I'm the nigga that's finna go work, you feel me? I'm finna go grind, I'm finna put this shit up uh -huh. until I can do what I wanna do with this money, you feel me? And I kinda just like express that shit through a clothing brand and you know the uh, slogan for the brand is stat not ball later. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I already didn't explain that shit, but uh I've been uh, working on the clothing brand for like a year, a year and a half maybe. Okay. And um, uh, you know, just doing that. Doing that, trying to test the waters in the in the clothing business or whatever, because I fuck with, with clothes anyway. Like I wear clothes, you feel me? So it's like, why not? Mmm. Why not? We trying to be the next Kanye out here, son? Nah, I ain't trying to be Kanye. <laughs> hey, that about Kanye a real inspiration though. Oh yeah. I, I fuck with Kanye. I so who who are like yeah, who are your inspirations in this music industry? Like who who inspired you to rap? Uh, to be young NBA Youngboy, man, they ain't gonna cap, bro. They're like, if, if people that, that see Youngboy now, they just see the Youngboy that they see now. Like, I've been fucking with Youngboy, like, for a minute. So, it's like, just to kind of see how that nigga came up. And as far as when you were speaking on the quality and shit, like, yeah. this nigga music wasn't even, you feel me, good quality when he was first putting out. He just was dropping. That nigga still just dropped now. And he just always been that type of artist that just drop, drop, drop. So, it's like, he kind of been my inspiration because I feel like, he was kind of like a underdog, you feel me? Like they would kind of sleep on him, but he just stayed in them for a phase and just they moved up to the next level. So he been a big inspiration to me. Uh, Kanye, mm. goddamn big inspiration. And I ain't, you feel me? I ain't never even really fuck with Kanye like that. Mm. Like I used to see Kanye, but I ain't never really just fuck with him until he dropped that documentary. And I was like, damn, like, mm. my nigga, that nigga, yeah, like he the whole definition of a stat way, you feel me? Like, he believed in himself. That's the biggest thing you gotta do in anything. You gotta believe in yourself. Cause ain't nobody ain't fucking with you, bro. If you ain't making no noise and, and everybody else ain't fucking with you, ain't nobody fucking with you. But they goddamn be able to, you feel me, stay consistent and then stay focused. You gotta believe in yourself. And I admire Kanye a lot for that shit. Like, he really believed in himself above anybody. You feel me? Like, wow. You feel me? That, yeah. And that, that, I take that approach with myself. Like, I'm my biggest fan. If I mm. hear some shit, I like it. I don't give a fuck. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. I don't like it. I like it, nigga. You feel me? Like, <laughs> and that goddamn Kanye just really stepped that shit. Like, yo, nigga, like, you feel me? You gotta believe in yourself. Cause, them folks don't see the vision you see. They don't see that shit. That's true. You feel me? They don't see the work you putting behind the scenes. They don't see none of that shit. They they see the end result. Mm -hmm. And you feel me? They see the bullshit before it make it to the end result. And that's all they judge you on. Oh, he ain't, you feel me, he ain't never with shit, you feel me, his shit was trash. You feel me, but nigga still working though, you know, he working to the, get to that net level, so. Goddamn. I say Kanye Youngboy, goddamn. I fuck with Drake too, though. Drake? Drake? Goddamn, hey, I fuck with Drake the way he, I fuck with the way Drake make music. You feel me? Mm. Like, I fuck with kind of like the approach he take to the music and shit. Mm. With the melodies and shit like that and all that, like, so. Hmm. Yeah. That 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 brings me to another question because um your beat picking seems to have improved since all love. Mm -hmm. Are you working like with a set of new producers or or are is it still the same? 
Oh, uh, nah, nah. So, really, at first, I was just doing YouTube beats. I was just going on YouTube. But now I be, like you said, working with producers and shit. I be having uh, people that I know, or people that just, you know, follow me from Instagram or whatever, goddamn, work on beats that kind of, like, fit more what, I, what I'm fucking with. Because mm -hmm. on YouTube, it's a hit or miss. You feel me? You might mm -hmm. find some shit, you might not. But when you got people working kind of, like, catering to your sound, that shit work out better, so. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Kind of working, working with people and shit. That's what's up. So I guess you're not gonna let us know that you're working with Metro Boomin' behind the scenes. Oh, <laughs> hey, look, I need to. You feel me? Speak that shit until his instance. Hell I yeah. We're getting on that law of attraction magic shit. Metro Boomin', man. Yeah, yeah. Make it happen. Make that shit happen where you at, boy. You know? That's what's up. I like what you said about Kanye because, um, I remember when Through the Wire came out. That was like in 2004. Mm. I was like 17, 18 back then. And I did not know who Kanye was then. But later on, I remember, yo, this is the dude that did the, the what was Jay-Z's Blueprint, the first one? Mm -hmm. That came out in 2001 and he was even in the I Izzo video as well, you know, and before that he was with Ludacris This was all in the in the early 2000s and then I remember dog 